Thank you for joining me today on Christine's Awesome Things. And today we are going to do something special for the holidays. This is the time of year where we're making our list and checking it twice and making a list of holiday foods that we want to eat for our family. One of the traditional things that we buy around this time of year is eggnog. I've been to the store and I've seen some cheap eggnog. I've seen some expensive eggnogs. I've had good eggnog and eggnog that's not so great. But why not make your own eggnog? That way it can be to your liking. It's not as hard as you think it is. In fact, it's rather easy. You can make it with or without alcohol. Once you complete your eggnog, you simply add your alcohol to it or you can leave it as it is. It's great either way. Before we get started, make sure you click that like and subscribe button. And I'm going to show you how to make your own eggnog. All right, so like I said, making eggnog is a pretty simple deal. You're going to start off, first of all, with six egg yolks. For those of you who don't know, egg yolks are the yellow part of the egg. You're going to separate it from the white part of the egg. If you don't know how, I am going to show you. You want to try to crack the egg in half as much as possible. When you crack that egg open, that white part of the yolk is automatically going to start falling and then you're going to transfer the yolk to the other side and keep transferring it black and back and forth between shells until the egg white drop out you're left with the egg yolk simple once you have your egg yolks set aside Separate it and set it aside and we'll get back to that. All right You're going to need for the recipe a cup of heavy cream Two cups of whole milk A half a teaspoon of vanilla, and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And you are going to put those, all the ingredients the milk, the cream, the cinnamon, vanilla, into a medium sized saucepan. And also, I like to add just a pinch of salt. We're gonna put this on the stove on medium high heat. Once you have this on the stove on medium high heat, you're just gonna stir and mix these ingredients around and you're going to Allow this to come to a simmer, a high simmer, just before it starts boiling. You do not want it to boil. You want it to just get to the point where it's about to boil. If you have a thermometer, you want it at a temperature of 160. So we're just going to let this do this thing. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to make our knock. So while our um, milk mixture is over there coming to a simmer, we're going to beat these egg yolks and sugar together. And you want to beat them until they're a pale yellow color. You're going to add your milk mixture to your egg mixture and you're going to do it um, by adding it one spoonful at a time. So you're going to add a spoon and then you're going to stir. I'm not going to, oops, not going to beat on this process. I'm trying not to make a mess, but you know, normally I just do my thing. But for the video purpose, I'm trying to be neat. Another scoop. 
Huh. Why don't I just use the spoon? That's a thought, right? And stir. And stir. And you're just going to keep repeating the process and stirring it in. And once you get down to that last spoonful, you're going to transfer the mix back over into your saucepan. Mix it in. And you're going to put it back on the stove on medium heat and keep stirring until it becomes thick all right so i've transferred my nog into a pitcher and i'm covering it with plastic when i say plastic it could be plastic wrap or anything i just like to do it like this to make it simple because you know with the plastic wrap sometimes it act like it don't want to stick around there so i'm just putting this on here and i'm gonna refrigerate it and once it's refrigerated and cooled off, I'll show you what it looks like.